So, I don't know about you guys, but I play Zelda quite a bit, and, you know, I think it's pretty fun. I have a lot of the games, the collectibles, and even have some of the, you know, rare controllers and whatnot. But whenever Tears of the Kingdom released, they released a special edition Pro Controller. Now, when Skyward Sword released, I had these pre-ordered immediately, so, you know, I ended up getting them. But the special edition Pro Controller, I wasn't really watching for, and I completely missed getting it. Now, they're going for, you know, $100 plus, dollars, and it's not that much more, because they're like $70 normally. But, I'm not spending that much on a controller. So, that is where... China comes in. So in this unsuspecting box, there's a clone version of the Zelda Pro Controller that should be almost one for one, even having amiibo support. Hey, editor's note here. So I was just editing this and then I remembered like one of like the super big features of this controller that typically only real controllers have. A lot of fake controllers can't turn the console on, but this one can. If you just press the home button, it turns the switch on. I forgot to mention that because I thought it was sort of a normal thing, but no, typically a lot of fake controllers don't have that. So yeah, I'm just throwing that in here right now. I've bought fake pro controllers before, such as the Smash Bros one and the Xenoblade one, and I don't have the boxes anymore, so I'll throw up some pictures here. But those came in boxes that looked like the original boxes. This one, this looks very, very generic. And actually, this Amiibo thing's just a sticker, so I'm assuming there might be some that don't have Amiibo support. The box seems to be the same dimensions, but it is not a look-alike box to the original box. One thing I can tell you is that this is straight off of Nintendo's box. They pretty much took that. Under the sticker, it says Nintendo and Switch are registered trademarks, blah, 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 blah. So they're basically saying, even though they stole the design for this controller, they're trying to cover themselves a little bit, but, uh, oh well. But yeah, Pro Controller for N-Switch. I bought a couple of these, and this is the first Zelda one that I bought. So this is about $30 on Amazon. That's all we got in the box. And what was interesting to me about this is that for about $30, it came with a carrying case, which I mean, that's probably like a $10 value, but it is themed just like the controller. Looks pretty sick. That is one of the sage symbols or whatever i can throw up whichever one it is i don't remember off the top of my head but you know okay feeling carrying case pretty cheap but i mean if you're putting your controller in a bag anyway you know it comes with it then the zippers are actually little swords so you can take a look at that there uh, okay i opened it upside down let's try that again so this is the clone fake knockoff version of the tears of the kingdom pro controller these controllers pretty much use all the same internals and whatnot. Of course, cheaper versions, but they're almost one for one to the original controllers. They even use the same batteries as the original Pro Controller, which is a 3DS battery. You can pop it out and put another one in very easily, and it's the same battery as a Nintendo 3DS. So because this is so close to a Nintendo original Pro Controller, all the different shells, like if I wanted to put different handles on this or different shell, which I wouldn't want to, but all the same modifications work. Up top, there's our charging port, sync button, and charging LED, just like the real one. Then in here, we just have a charging cable, which I had uh, took out already, which is USB Type-C. And they kind of blatantly ripped off Nintendo's cable and blanked out where it's supposed to say Nintendo. And then here's the instruction manual. They don't show actual picture of this controller because, you know, it's kind of a knockoff controller. So they just show this cheap generic thing on the instructions. So something that I noticed with a lot of these cheaper Pro Controller clones... You can sync them wirelessly with the sync button up here, but the very first time that you need to pair them, you have to pair them with the charging cable. So they just kind of tell you what setting you have to go and turn on for that to work. And then a bunch of troubleshooting steps if that didn't work. Of course, all the different battery specs and all that other stuff. So this is about 22 hours of use time, which is down from Nintendo's estimated 40. But for this being a sort of knockoff product, this is actually pretty good. Tells you everything that you need to know and even gives you troubleshooting steps if it doesn't work the first time. But here's the controller next to the case. We have the same crest here as in the middle. And then they have this circle symbol around the crest, which is actually more similar to the dock, if you've seen the dock. But very similar styles. I'm not too sure how uh, long they're going to be getting away with this, but you can even buy knockoff Joy-Con that are pretty much one for one, amiibo support and all that. So drop a comment if you want to see those. But they have tons of different knockoff products nowadays. So let's get to actually uh, using this fake Pro Controller. So like I mentioned earlier, this one is one for one. Even has Amiibo support. The only thing that is slightly different from a real Pro Controller 
is it does not have HD rumble. It has sort of cheaper rumble motors, which means instead of there being different vibration intensities, it's either vibrating or not. So the rumble on this is much cheaper, but a lot of the main boards and a lot of the main parts are the same. For example, if you look right behind the right thumbstick, just like a real Pro Controller, there's a hidden message. So yeah, just like the real Pro Controller, it says thanks to all game fans behind the right thumbstick. So even though it's obviously clones of Nintendo's components, they're pretty much using the same stuff. And with other fake Pro Controllers in the past, I've mixed and matched the boards with the real boards, and they all work. So, you know, pretty normal stuff. We have two thumbsticks, regular buttons and all that. Everything feels the same as a regular Pro Controller. Only thing I notice is that the thumbsticks feel a little tighter, but D-pad, everything else feels fine. Home button feels a little weird, but that's the only thing that feels a little off. Everything else feels pretty much the same. And then, of course, right under here, we have our Amiibo scanner. And, yeah, I'd say it's a pretty high-quality fake. They do have cheaper ones that are about $20 instead of 30 but those can't read Amiibo, and you get the carrying case with this one, so I mean, I think it's not a horrible deal. Here's my Switch console, handheld mode, whatever. Click change grip slash order, and hold the pairing button until this blinks, standard procedure for controllers, and then you just kind of press these buttons until it decides to pair. And then there we go. And something cool about this is that just like the real one, they have the mismatched handle color on the icon. So you know, it even shows up as a real Zelda Pro Controller on the Switch. Now let's go to calibrate control sticks because one of the biggest issues with cheap controllers is stick drift and big stick dead zones. So let's try on this stick. So you can see if I try to go diagonally it kind of sticks to the axis. Let's try going this way. Yeah so it kind of goes from 0 to 100 before you even reach the edge. Same with over here. So the sticks are not the highest quality. With a regular Nintendo Pro Controller, you can make tiny circles going all the way around and stuff. And the sticks are pretty much one-to-one -to, -one to what you see happening right here. So, you know, that's the first thing to pay attention to. The sticks are not great. These are Hori Pads, which are still a official Nintendo product. So not Joy-Con or anything. But, as you can see, I can try to make little tiny circles. And it still sticks to the axis a little bit, unlike a real Pro Controller. But it maxes out whenever you actually max out, and it's just mapped a lot better than how this is. So the rumble is pretty weak, and it's not HD rumble. I don't even know if you guys can hear it at all. You, brought, you guys probably can't hear that. It's very weak. Unlike some of the other fake controllers that I've used in the past, where I turned off the rumble because it was so obnoxious, this one I'd probably leave on just because, but it is not great. But at the end of the day, the Switch recognizes it as a Zelda controller. It looks like a Zelda controller. You know, I recognize it as a Zelda controller. And it just works. Really no input latency or anything. It feels just like a regular Pro Controller. So all the buttons work as they should, which is pretty low standard. But, you know, there you go. And then like a real Pro Controller, you have motion control aiming. So let's say I want to aim at the top of this tree using my control stick. It would be, you know, a lot more difficult. But with motion aiming, you can just, you know, go between whatever. So even though the sticks on this controller are really not that accurate, playing a game like Zelda, typically you mostly aim with motion controls. So I feel like it did be fine. And then, of course, amiibo support. I got one right here. So let me just pick this guy up. And it took a second, but we have full Amiibo support on this fake Pro Controller. Something to be aware of, if you're playing with this controller wired, the Amiibo won't work, but wirelessly it will. So if you're playing while charging your controller, Amiibo won't work. But I think that's something that the regular Pro Controller does as well. So yeah, that's the Pro Controller for N-Switch. You know, a bootleg knockoff Zelda Pro Controller that uh, looks just like the real deal. At the end of the day, whether or not I'd recommend this, it isn't the highest quality. You have issues such as the sticks not being the most accurate, and a slightly shorter battery life, with them saying it'll last about 20 hours instead of 40. But at the end of the day, if you're like me and you just want the Zelda controller to play Zelda, it's only about 30 bucks, and you still have amiibo support, motion controls, and most importantly, the cool look. So while it definitely is a low quality controller, it uses pretty much the same general components so it looks and feels like a regular pro controller 
but I'd say the sticks are really the only big difference. If this said Nintendo on the back and you handed this to me, I honestly wouldn't even notice unless I opened the stick calibration menu and started doing that. But just playing games and stuff, you'll honestly never notice. Just like the real Pro Controller, the D-pad is a little mushy, and because there's nothing in the middle to keep it, you know, pivoting, you can push down all sides of it at the same time. But that's something that the real Pro Controller does, so can't knock it for that. And finally, something that was really interesting about this that I didn't think it would include. Both Joy-Con and the official Pro Controller have a light in the home button, and you probably didn't even know this because Nintendo never uses it. However, whenever you use this controller on a computer or pair your Joy-Con to a computer, you can turn it on. Well, I was using this controller on my computer just testing out to see if it would work. And the home button started lighting up, which I didn't expect because all the other fake Pro Controllers I've taken a look at in the past were so cheap that not only was this light ring not even here, there wasn't even a light on the motherboard. So, while I wouldn't say it's a one-to-one -one quality controller, it's a one-to-one -one feature controller. It's got everything from Amiibo to motion controls to very basic rumble, etc. And at a third of the price of the real Zelda controller, you know, you get a nice little case. So yeah, I was just taking a look at this because it's something that I was interested in. And uh, you know, I just went ahead and bought it just because. If you guys want this, I can leave the link down in the description. Won't be like an affiliate link or whatever, it'll just be a regular link so you guys can go take a look at it. Because at the end of the day, if you want the Zelda controller, but you don't want to spend $100, I say that this is a good choice. Drop a comment if you want to see me check out the fake Tears of the Kingdom Joy-Con. And there's actually fake Skyward Sword Joy-Con. Those are the real ones right there. I could probably do a comparison of the two. So yeah, that's the Pro Controller for InSwitch. Thank you for watching. That's all from me. I'm out. Peace.